Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Trina, the owner and creator behind Diamonds and Dust. Today we are on day five of our 12 days of Christmas and we will be working with another template I designed. This one is super fun and like nothing I've seen before. So I can't wait to show you guys what I have planned for you today. If you like this tutorial, please remember to like and subscribe. And don't forget to join my Diamonds and Dust Facebook group as we are doing daily giveaways over there. Let's get started. Today we will be working on a 32 ounce plump from the Still Magnolia. Make sure you check the description below for a discount code for you guys. I have already cut out my twist template on white vinyl and I'm just going to fold back a half an inch to an inch so I can tack this down to my cup. Once you have that tacked down, wrap the rest of the template around your cup with the backing still on, just making sure that the top and bottom line up perfectly. Then you can start pushing, just releasing that backing a little bit at a time and making sure that your vinyl goes on smooth and wrinkle free. Once you have it all wrapped around, start removing that transfer tape at the beginning so you can line up the white vinyl pattern and making sure that the lines match up perfectly without overlapping on top of that transfer tape. Once you get your pattern on securely and your lines matched up perfectly, re remove the rest of that transfer tape. Well, I'm just going to slightly push that vinyl around the bottom edge and then use my cup edging tool and cut off a small section. Now take a look at your pattern and decide what parts you would like to glitter first. I am going to take the biggest section here and remove that from the tumbler. Now I'm going to a base coat that section pink and then once that's dried I'm going to go back over it with the same pink but l mix in a little bit of glitter glue with that paint color and then I'm going to apply in sections the glue and paint mixture and then sprinkle on my glitter. Continue those steps until that stainless steel section is completely covered in glitter. Now 
I'm going to remove the two thinner strips of vinyl from the template. Then I'm going to take a green, mix in a little bit of glitter glue and paint those sections and sprinkle on the glitter color What the Elf. Once you get those two stripes painted and glittered green, you're going to let this dry and then take a dry bristle brush and dust off that excess glitter. Then you're going to want to seal this cup really, really well. I like Krylon or Rust-Oleum's Triple Thick. I usually do it about three really good times. Then you're going to let that dry and you're going to coat your cup with a coat of epoxy, but you're not going to epoxy around the base of the tumbler. You're just going to apply epoxy where we have the vinyl and glitter. So this is why we didn't want to epoxy the bottom. We're gonna pop that cap right off. And what you're going to take is a little flathead screwdriver and a hammer of some sort. I got this from my husband's toolbox. It's clearly been worked to death, but you're just gonna hammer that in until you can pop that cap right off. Now I'm going to base coat the inside of that divot from the cap white and then on the outside I'm going to paint that divot pink. Once your paint is dry you're going to mix up some epoxy and the coordinating glitter which we used seedless before for the pink so we're going to use seedless again and we're just going to fill up that little gap between the middle circle and then like the end bottom of the cup and then on the middle white section we're not going to fill that up but we are going to level that out by adding just a thin layer of glitter and epoxy and for that glitter i chose abominable Once that epoxy is all cured, you're going to take a piece of acetate or overhead projector film, whatever you want to call it, and you're going to trace where the pink glitter is around the white glitter, and you're going to cut that out and put it to the side. Now we're going to add in the white section, the white glitter section, just some little embellishments and stuff. I have some glitter snowflakes, some clay sprinkles, some of these, I want to call them like micro beads. I have some of those and just some other things that I've collected over the years. Just a fun fact, I actually got back into resin making after I had my fourth baby and I needed an outlet. So I started making shaker keychains. So when I saw the shaker 
but on the tumblers, I just knew I had to do it. So therefore I have collected all of these little shaker items over the years. Now bring back that circle of acetate and make sure that you cut it large enough that it covers the entire circle of white and actually the edges go on to the pink. Then you're going to tack that down with some UV resin just around the edges. Don't go too crazy here because your little elements will stick if it overflows and you don't want that. That would be a sad day. So just apply just enough that it would tack down this acetate and then cure it with your UV resin lamp. Now that it's tacked down, you really want to ensure that that acetate has no gaps so there's no leaks. So what I like to do as a precaution is just take my UV resin again and go around the edge of that acetate to make sure it's really sealed. So I found this teeny tiny drill bit in my husband's toolbox. I don't know what size it is. I want to say 1 16th. And we're just going to drill this teeny tiny hole in one of the sides of that acetate. And then I have this needle nose bottle. You can use a syringe or whatever you have. And I filled it up with the liquid of choice. And we're going to stick it into that hole and fill up that entire cavity with the liquid. Um, I actually prefer baby oil. I like more of a slow flow, but you can also use the glycerin and water, whatever you choose. But you're going to fill that up all the way and you're going to make sure that all of the air is out. So you want very little to no bubbles in your snow globe shaker bottoms or it just won't flow correctly. Once you get it all filled up, you're going to take a little bit of UV resin and just cover that hole that we created with the drill and then cure that with your light. Now we're going to take our green paint and a little bit more glitter glue mixture and we're going to paint the base and the stainless steel that's kind of on the sides but the base of the tumbler and then we're going to sprinkle on the same what the elf glitter. To seal the What the Elf glitter around the little rim on the bottom, I just took some quick seal and dabbed that on. And then we're going to add another coat of epoxy to our tumbler to ensure it's super smooth for our striping part of the tutorial. This part right here is where your tumbler will come to life. You get to be creative and add the stripes or don't add the stripes. You get to do whatever you want here. But I just went a little crazy with stripes because I was kind of going for a candy cane theme. And so I took some green nail striping tape and went around every green glitter section. And then I took some pink striping tape and went around the pink sections. And then including in the pink section, I cut out some vinyl in about a half an inch and an eighth of an inch and added some white stripes on the pink. And then also just randomly took that green and pink nail striping tape and placed that wherever I felt like it as well.
once you get all of your stripes done, add a layer of epoxy. Now it's time to add a decal if you would like. I decided to go with this one that says Candy Cane Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses. I liked that it was more vertical and kind of just went with the theme of my tumbler. Now it's time to final coat your tumbler. So add an epoxy layer or two until you get a smooth, beautiful finish. And here is the tumbler all finished. This tutorial was kind of a doozy and a long one to create, but I just am absolutely obsessed with the results. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial as much as I loved creating it. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe and look for me on all other social media platforms under Diamonds and Dust.